Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and here we are, gonna be doing the final battle on Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Seven boss, the final battle. Well, let us move on and begin and end this game. What mystery waits us so here? Huh. Bunch of clay statues everywhere. Interesting. Huh. I see like a whole galaxy there in the background. That's kind of a cool looking scene. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. I wonder what's that one with all the like, little orbs around it. I don't seem to remember that planet. Kind of looks like Popstar, except with way more rings than a normal planet does. Well, I'll probably looking way more into things than I should. By the way, you'll see another new mechanic added for the final boss. Oh, new mechanics already being added still? Even this late in the game? Uh, okay, uh, all right, whatever. Whoops, well that, that still worked. You'll also notice it bounced. It bounces once and after that it breaks. So if you don't hit the boss in a bounce, that's it. There's a nice little max tomato there for you, so that's kind of neat if you needed that. I'm not sure why you would need that, but it's there for something. Anyway, let's enter in the door. Hmm. It's the grab hands. What are they gonna do? Hey, look, it's Klaisha. Our lion's trying to reason with her. Please, please come back. Nope, just smacks her in the face. Wow. Klaisha, wh what's gotten into you? You jerk. Must say, I love the music for this section so much. Either way, it starts off pretty similar to uh, Drasha and the fact that uh, her shield there makes her invincible. Obviously, if you didn't know that by now, I, I don't know what to tell you. Either way, let's just go ahead and knock her into the hair. And I missed. Wow. Great start, self. Great start. Either way, make sure they don't actually hit, so hit you. And... There we go. And then once you actually hit her, then she's going to land on the floor crying, and you can just hit her about three times. You're not going to be killing her that way, just so you know. However, that will actually cue part of the battle, start, start queuing phases here. So start actually building stuff this way. This time she actually starts building lasers. So be careful where you draw and stop drawing, because if you try to draw another line, you actually cause one that you draw to disappear and actually get lasers in your face. So just uh, be wary of that. I was going to stay over here in a corner waiting for those both to calm down. Aw, uh, messed up. Oh well. Do it this way. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of... Definitely makes, me, makes things more difficult when you have to actually guide Kirby into the path instead of having to just draw lines to do that like you would for Dross's fight. Kind of makes things more uh, more involved in the fight. Kind of like that. Now here you'll notice here, you can actually break these with your line, but you, must, you can also break the stars. The stars you actually want to break because you actually can use those stars. But of course, then she draws her little shield again. I'll stay over here. And she's gonna draw another one. I'll just stay over here in a corner, avoiding it all. And then, I could go ahead and just... Nope. Whoops. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna stay over here, because once it actually retracts one more time, it's gonna disappear. So just take note of that. You only get one shot, and it's timed, so, uh, yeah. Whoops, really close to actually, there we go. And then, then she'll go into phase two, essentially. If you notice, now she gets super mad. She's super ticked now. And she'll start pulling up a few new tricks up her sleeve. Like, for example, 
You'll see this thing chasing you. Just keep dashing Kirby. Eventually it'll stop. And then you can actually grab all the stars you need to. Grab all the stars. I recommend trying to grab as many as you can. And then avoid those things which are going to slam down. And if you can, if you're really lucky, you could actually get a perfect one like this. So now I have enough for a star dash. So, once you bring that up again more time, you actually just bring her straight into that phase. Knock her all the way down to zero. And she is defeated. What happened? Felicia, wake up. Please. She looks fine. But what happened? What what me aw, how cute. Yay, we did it! What those look like nightmares glasses. Is that Nope, it's not nightmare. It's uh oh, that's an interesting looking mouth. Oh my god! He has an eye for a mouth! It must be zero three! No, it's actually uh dark uh dark crafter. Dark Crafter, Dark Matter, that makes sense. Anyway, oh, they're crying because they're like, oh no, 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 the thing got away after all this trouble it caused us. But Klesia knows what's up because she's like, yeah, come on, you draw your thing. You've done this before. You're able to beat up my bosses without taking damage because you're awesome, Kirby. So I know you can do it this time. So let us begin and blast off. Now, when you're taking no damage against this boss, you could essentially kill yourself in this phase if you take damage and then restart and it will still count as long as you do each phase without taking damage it counts either way this music though is great just wonderful may I add make sure you get as many stars as you can this is a very interesting final boss must I add it's very well, you'll see. It's not something I'd expect to see in a Kirby game. And there it actually reminds you again, in case you forgot how these things work for the star dashes. And then you can just glide Kirby one last time. And after this, he'll actually have a break period where you can actually hit him. And that's your shot. That's when you hit him. You actually see the dark matter. You actually see the dark matter resemblance now overcoming him because you actually see little parts of his colors appearing and making little, you know, dark matter. It's definitely a reference to dark matter for sure. I'm not sure if dark crafter is actually part of dark matter, although it makes sense because dark crafter and dark matter sounds very familiar, very similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, dark crafter is a remnant of dark matter left, kind of like uh, dark nebula was. But either way. Phase two, destroyed. So this leaves one last phase where he starts going ballistic. If you notice, wow, that's a, that's a lot of bullets you're shooting at us. And I have to be very, oh, I missed that. That's gonna be crucial. Okay, focus on this, gotta focus. Gotta focus, please, Kirby. All right. Draw a line. So far, so good. Okay. And... Ah, uh, messed up. Got it! Yes! So now... For this phase, you can essentially just wipe out these by drawing lines. Ah! Ah, dang it. How do we do this? Alright, so, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that I was supposed to kill myself rather than exiting the stage again. So essentially I had to redo the entire Klesha fight all over again. But, uh, I was thinking about maybe trying to hide my death and just, or my, uh, my damage and just try to redo this and pretend like I did it on my first try. But I figured I'd be lying. I don't want to do that. I want to actually do this as honest as possible. And, uh, hey, we all make mistakes. I mean, that's just 
if we were all perfect, well, then this world wouldn't be a piece of absolute crap. So yeah, anyway, there's that. But yeah, I made a mistake, so I'll leave that in. But yeah, I'm actually surprised. I mean, granted, I played a lot of shmups. I played a lot of shmups. I even played some really hard ones, like uh, Toho, for example. I played a lot of Perfect Cherry Blossom, Ikaruga. played a lot of those games, so I'm actually used to this kind of stuff by now. I don't expect to see this stuff in a Kirby game. Now granted, the, game, the level of difficulty in this is definitely a lot lower than that of Toho and Ch Perfect Cherry Blossom and other games like that. Well, Perfect Cherry Blossom actually is Toho, but y you know what I'm saying. Now granted, I'm not a master at those games either. I think, I think my biggest achievement, of my biggest kind of achievement in any of those types of games was uh, beating Ikaruga on easy without a sing using a single continue. That <laughs> was the best I could do in any of those real difficult games like that. But still, that's probably a lot better than most people are able to do in shmups. But someone who's never actually played shmups in their life and coming up against this boss, they're probably going to run into a lot of trouble, especially taking, trying to take no damage from it. I mean, that's a little ridiculous to try and ask of them. But, uh, wow, I, I'm messing up pretty bad, but I'm still not taking damage, so that's, uh, oh yeah, I need to grab that star. Oh well. I need to grab this star now. Alright. Okay, I need to start focusing now, because this is where the hard part begins. Alright, come on, Kirby. You got this. You know the pattern, you know the drill. You should take notice, however, that you actually can remove those bombs with your actual... Dang it! Again! Nope, I'm gonna kill myself this time. Alright, so now that we actually do this properly... You know what? I'm thinking about... I, I was thinking about just cutting ahead to where I'm actually messing up. But, I don't know. I'm not sure if you guys would actually mind that. Because then you're missing kind of the, <clears throat> the entire fight. I mean, again, you're seeing the exact same fight again these next two times and me talking over it again isn't really helping all too much. You know, just skip to th after this, I think I'll just skip to the third phase and go from there. Because uh, I don't see myself lose yet. That mind that reminder like that is constant is actually pretty annoying after a while. I mean yes, I'm well aware how the Star Dash works. Thank you for telling me that or pointing that out to me. I guess if you didn't weren't already well aware of it, like you might have just not thinking twice about it. And then be like, oh yeah, you could use star dashes, that's right. It's there as a, just to let you know, but still, it, I, I still think if you got this far in the game, you should know how the Star Dash works. But whatever. Although, funny thing, when I first heard about Return of Dreamland, that game there, uh, well, yeah, as you guys know what Return of Dreamland is, when I first saw that game, we were trying to speculate what those uh, big star symbols on the super on the super abilities were. Some people actually thought you actually need to collect 100 stars to actually create one of those. Oh, right. Gotta do this. Whoops. Yeah. Some people were actually expecting they needed 100 stars to actually get the super abilities before we actually learned out how they actually do work. So, uh, I was actually thinking the final boss fight, before we actually knew anything about the game, would actually work out similar to this. So the fact I actually saw a final boss end up like this later, despite the fact all that speculation and whatnot, I'm like, oh hey, they actually did a boss like this. Maybe I wasn't expecting a boss kind of like this specifically, because uh, I wasn't expecting them to do like a shmup boss. But to be fair, we haven't had a shmup final boss since... Zero? I think that's the last time we actually had a true shmup final boss. I, th I think... I think that was it. And... Alright. Let's focus here. Dang it! Again. Alright, so here we are at phase three again. Hopefully I don't horribly mess this up. Alright, Kirby. You got this. You got this. Well, that I don't think I was supposed to go that way, but whatever. That's fine. I'm doing better than I should. Okay. I wish I had enough to actually start actually now, but I don't, so there's that. Alright. Although, funny story, when I first fought this boss, 
<clears throat> All right, got past that part. All right, and then that's it. The final hit. It's always that one part that I always messed up on that I finally got past it. Dark Crafter is now completely destroyed without taking any damage whatsoever. So now we see the final cutscene. It looks like Klaisha's worried. Oh, but she's really happy to see Kirby again and a line. What's she doing? Oh, she's, she's molding a star. And look, a line's painting it. Just like good old times, Align and Drasha, Klaisha are back together again. And then Kirby could use his little pop st warp star to go right back to Pop Star. Yay! So, I really enjoyed that game a lot. I hope you guys did too. In fact, I want to hear what you guys thought of the game. I personally thought it, I loved the ending because you don't see too often in a Kirby game where the main antagonist is actually not evil at all, but rather something else entirely was actually. It, it was nice seeing an ending where a, she got her, where a lion got her friend back. It was there's like two friends that lost each other that were able to get him back. Most of the time in Kirby, it's like a uh, evil big boss guy. I mean, I have nothing wrong with that personally because some of those people are awesome. But there was never a time like this where the main antagonist was actually someone good the entire time. Who actually ends up being good after all. Well, there was Magalore, but Magalore was never really good. He just turned good. He was actually completely evil and missed and actually, you know, used Kirby for his own purposes. But there was only only it wasn't that till until after he was defeated and pretty much got warped to a sp place of space and time where he decided, eh, screw it, being evil is bad. I'll just be good again, make music parts or something. That's official! That's official canon! I have a link! I'll put a link right there. But anyway, yeah, I actually really enjoyed that, and I liked the whole idea and how cute the claymation and everything. Although, one question persists. Why is Kirby rolling up in a ball this time? I mean, I'm not talking about the mechanics-wise, I'm talking about story-wise. I mean, Canvas Curse, it made sense. He was turned into a ball, he was cursed. In Epic Yarn, he couldn't inhale or inha or float because his body was made of yarn. He couldn't eat or inhale anything. In this game, he just rolls because he can, I guess? Eh? I, I, I don't know. But that's a whole other thing entirely. And when I was first facing this final boss and playing it, some guy I know was actually hyping it up to be like the best thing ever, like the most amazing thing. And like, he wanted actually me to record my reaction of fighting the final boss for the first time. And he thought I was going to die horribly each and every time. When he saw I beat up my first try, he's like, how the crap did you do that? And he was hyping up the final boss so much, that he, the only way that hype could be justified is if it ended up being Zero himself. And honestly, if it was Zero who was the final boss, I would actually be ticked that they decided to use a game like this to show Zero instead of, say, uh, 3D Kirby Platformer. You know, maybe they should make one of those soon, Hal. Maybe they should actually make something different than 2D side-scrollers all the time. But, I, I don't know, I have nothing wrong with Kirby. I love Kirby, I play all the Kirby games, but I really want to see a 3D platformer at some point. This game was a nice change of pace. It was nice from seeing all the... Now, would I say this is my favorite Kirby game of all time? No. Would I say it's one of my favorite Kirby games? One of my favorite spin-offs, at least. I mean, I liked it substantially more than Canvas Cursed. I like the fact that the worlds in this game were actual worlds with actual theme rather than Canvas Curse. It's like, yeah, uh, this is a red world, except nothing here is red. There's three random levels. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I like the fact that there were actual bosses in this game, in opposed to, you know, sub-games. I like the fact that the challenges in this game, which you're going to see, aren't just redoing the levels with, you know, a line challenge or time trial or anything like that. I like that. What do you guys think of the game? What did you guys think of it about watching it? Let me know in the comments, please. I'd like to hear them. Now let's see the final thing here. Klaisha brings the color right back to the world, and hey, there's DDD's castle there in the background. 
I think it's probably the only time you're actually seeing it in the game. And Kirby gets all the apples you could ever hope and dream of in the world. And Glacia and Painstar are back to their old, good, happy friend self again. I enjoyed that. I really thought that was a neat little story side that they actually added there. It was just a good feeling at the end. It wasn't just defeat the final boss and evil and all is good in Dreamland again. It was two friends got back together and everything is back and happy and I like that. I don't know. That's just me. Yep, I know. Yep. New challenge. Now let's see what the last page of the secret diary is. It's nothing special, let me tell you, but I'll show you it off anyway. All's well that ends well. It's just a screenshot of the finale there, of the little last screenshot you see. Yay for happy endings. Yeah, I'd say yay. Everything's happy. Everything is happy-go-lucky in the world of Dreamland and whatever the other place is. In fact, let's look at the figurines. Let's see if the figurine will tell us if there's a special world it's called. Klesha. Klesha used her powers to create Seventopia. That's the name of the place. Seventopia. Kind of an odd name and doesn't really use much originality, but whatever. B but while she was busy sculpting, something took over her physical form. Everyone breathed a big sigh of relief when she came to her back to her senses and reunited with a line. Isn't that nice? Now let's see Dark Crafter. This mysterious being took control of Klesha's body and then tried to disguise himself with sunglasses. He wanted to steal the vibrant covers from Dreamland and take over the world, but Kirby put a stop to that. And I think the moral of the story is, don't buy expensive sunglasses because they will eventually corrupt you. Ha, <laughs> ha. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much that for the boss figurines there. And, uh, that's pretty much all I have to show off. So next time in Kirby the Rainbow Curse, I'll be doing the finale, showed off the ending, be going to challenge mode, and I'll be showing off the first 12, and I'll be doing them in sets of 12, and of course, there are actually 48. And that one's locked by unlocking everything else. Anyway, I will see you guys then.